What's going on YouTube? This is Wave Vaping with Gemini. Today we are discussing about coils and wickening the way we can vape and enjoy our life. This is for this video is for newcomers and beginners. Um, I'm gonna go step by step, teach you how to coil it and wicken it and uh, vape on it. You know? So um, yeah, we try and get more people into it and join the community and you know just like twisted 420 said it don't matter what you're vaping on as long as you ain't on this so let's get to it i'm going down to the close-ups and uh we'll go from there step by step and teach you guys how to do it and let's get this going catch you in a bit What's going on YouTube? All right, here we go. I'm down to close ups. Uh, here we are. We got all the tools out and everything. Okay, so we can go down step by step and teach you how to coil it, wick it on a deck, and you know, this is for the newcomers. That way, for educational purpose and for learning. Okay, so tools. We're gonna need cutters, wire cutters. You can find these on eBay, Amazon. Uh, they're fairly cheap. They're like eight bucks, ten bucks tops. If you find them on there, you know, around there, and you know, not needing those pliers, you know, because you know you don't want that big ass one, you know. So you want the small ones, okay? So yeah, you're gonna need one of these. You're gonna need needing those pliers. This is good for pinching and moving thing, moving wires through the holes in your deck, okay? You're gonna need a good pair of scissors. Scissors is for to cut your wickening when you uh, when you put your wick in the coils and you have to measure them out and cut it before you put them in the deck. Okay, so yeah, you need scissors. And you need an old meter. These are pretty cheap. These are like, you know, 10, 15 bucks, you know. You can get a good one for, you know, a really, really good, decent good one for like 35 bucks, you know. So, it's an old meter that tells you what your ohms are and your reading. So, yeah, also, you know, I know the ohms law, um, you know, make sure you're you're at the right ohms, what you're looking for, and you don't want to soap open too low. There's some people that do, but that's more of an advanced and and a more ex experienced and expert user, so yeah, so you need one of these. And you got your ceramic tweezers. These tweezers here are ceramic, okay? They're not metal. You know the ones that you use to pluck your nose and all that, a little smaller? No, don't use that. Because, you know, you firing up that, you know, or, you know, your, 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 uh, your RDA or your, uh, or your RTA uh, deck, you know, you, you know, sometimes you use this to pinch and also use this to, tuck in your wicks and all that but you know if you get the metal one you fire it up you touch it you're going to short it out or short it out so you don't want that so yeah and these are ceramic ends there you can replace them if they break okay so yeah you need one pair of these screwdrivers usually when you buy an RTA they come with one okay um, there's some RDAs that does come with them some don't if you don't and then you know a Phillip or a flathead if you don't have they don't come with this that's cool dude go to Walmart man Walmart sells a whole set of these man they're cheap they're like two three dollars they're cheap and then, you know you got your big small flatheads you got different sizes of Phillips heads you know dude just get yourself one you know they're fairly cheap they're really really affordable and if it breaks cool that's you know you can buy another one that's not really big of a deal okay next up is you're gonna need your coil wires I got 20 you know these rolls here they go you can get them on Amazon or eBay or whatever you know or your hardware store they sell kept on coils you know you got a 26 gauge here you got a 24 gauge here and then you got your 32 gauge here Necaron if you want to use these okay um, mostly beginners they start with 28 or 30 30 is too small. I think 28 would be fair, and then you can work your way up on on a, on a, a lower of gauge, the thickness of the wire. Okay, I usually mainly tend to use 24 up to 22, but right now the lowest one I got is 26. So I don't have 28 for you to show you guys out. So this is you know just an example. Okay, so we're going to use 26 today. Also, uh, you can get a jig. Uh, this some for like five eight ten bucks i don't have here with me but i have a little bit more advanced ones uh these here to help you wrap your coil from uh, coil master as well okay if you don't have this that's fine you can use your uh, one of the flat heads okay and then you know you put this on and you hold one in and you wrap it okay 
Um, also, another wing is that when you use a, a one of the coil master sets, you know they have three millimeter and a two point five millimeter, and it goes up to two mil to one point five mil, the diameter around the circle. Okay, and it also goes to four mil to three point five mil millimeters of the coils. Okay, so we're gonna take it easy. You know, this is for new beginners and teach you guys to do it. So we're gonna do, uh, depends on your deck. Okay, so we're gonna, I busted out this deck here. This deck is from RTA, uh, from uh, Mutank. Okay, this is an RTA. This is an example, okay. Um, this is how, this, this is the deck. Look how small it is, okay. Uh, so you got, you know, you got some room in there. They're not so bad, you know, but you compare this to an RDA, you know, I smoke a 28.5 RDA millimeter. Look how big this deck is. So, I mean, you know, I have a lot of room to play around with. I can make a big fat coil with no problem. Okay. The pros and the cons on the RDA is that this here, you have to drip it on there and vape on it. So you vape on it. And then when it's done juice, you add more juice and you vape on it. On the RTA, you have to, you know, you have to uh, fill the juice on the tank. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, this is an RTA. You fill the juice, this is a top fill. You fill it up and it fills the juice all the way up here. So when you're done vaping, you add more juice, okay? This is an RTA and that's the RDA, the one I just showed you earlier. So you got a dripper and you got an RTA, okay? Uh, I'm more of a RDA fan. I, I prefer, it tastes better with me. Everybody's different, everybody's not the same. So you'll find one which you prefer. You know, a lot of people just use the RTAs is to carry out when they're not at home because you don't want to carry an extra bottle, you know, like a big juice like this, you know, carry with you around and fill the juice and dripping all the time. So everything has their pros and cons about it, okay? So just be aware of it. But we're gonna use the R RTA deck, okay? And I'll show you how to build on it. It's the exact same way you're building on the RDA, but the RDA is, it's, it's wider and you know it's a dripper okay so yeah all right so I'm just giving you an idea and throw it out there and give you guys an idea okay so first I'm gonna set up my tool I mean, I'm going to be using a look at this deck when you put your when you put your rod in with your thing you look down and you see if you know if this wire is you know a good size for it will fit in you know you gotta think about it is that when you put it in you know to see if it's you know if you build a coil because this here about the other things about the RTAs is that after you build a deck you have a top that goes with it and it goes over it on top and you don't want to build a coil so big that if you put you know, coil in it and you put a top on it and then if that coil touches this, it's gonna short it, short it out. You don't want that. So guess what? You have to build a little bit smaller. So not all cases that you use three millimeter, okay? Sometimes you gotta go with a 2.5 millimeter or a two millimeter. But in this case here, you know, the way I look at it, it looks like I can put a three millimeter here easily, just fine. Okay, not many, many, many wraps, but you know, it's enough to where it doesn't touch this top part. Okay, so let's get down to it. I want to show you how to uh, coil it, wrap it, throw it in there, wick it, and um, from there, it's you know, and I'll show you on the RDAs and the how it vapes. Okay, so here we go. All right, so now I'm going to put my tools in my coil master here. We're going to do this at, at three millimeter. Okay, so I'm going to grab my 26 gauge, which is this one. Okay. So this is 26 Kentho wire. You can just type in Temco on Amazon, and they're fairly cheap. This is a hundred foot roll, dude. You know how you know how long this will, this will last you, you know, especially if you're using you know wrapping. And then you know it, it lasts a long, long time. Okay, more than two, three months too. Okay, and then after you wick and you vape on it quite a while, it's gonna start building cake up. You know, you throw away the wick, you put a new one in there. One, well, you, you throw away the wick. You burn it hot enough, you pour water on it, and the cake falls off the coil. The black stuff that forms around the coil, because that burns the juice for it for you to vape. Over time, it builds up the cake, which is that black stuff. And you just crank up, take up the wick out, burn it hot enough on the coil, and it'll you know turn really red, bright orange, and then just 
add water to it and the cake will fall off. Now if it doesn't fall off, it's time for you to build another coil. Okay, and usually, you know, you don't build coils very often. They'll probably maybe do it once a month or once every three weeks. Depends on the person and how much they vape and what, you know, what not, okay? So, let's pull out a strand. I usually do one loop, so, so from the hole here, where it hooks up, I'll pull one strand till it meets up to the other hole, okay? Now cut it. I'll cut it where the hole is at, okay? That's one. And this is two. I just stick it in the hole because, you know, I don't need but two strands anyways. Now if you're only doing one one coil on a deck, that's fine, you only need one strand. But in this case here, this one here, you can do two, you know, one on this side and then one on the other side. So you can do two. There's some people that see they have an option of two, but they only want to use one coil. They have in the kit, some some RTAs have a little uh, silicone or whatever, whatnot, a rubber thing. Plug into this hole right here and you can only use this side. Okay, so but I'm more of two person kind of or more. Okay, so go ahead and wrap this up. And I want to show you with this tool on this thread and the next one I'll do it on on the on the, the flathead as an idea okay there's some people that doesn't have this kind of kit so this is how fast this thing will do it so I'll stick it in the hole so it goes in freely okay and I'll hold it down and I'll pull this way pull it down toward me and then where's that piece that I had here it is okay so we're gonna go at three see that three three millimeter here flipping this side to the rod and they have this little screw right here on the side Okay, I hope you guys can see that. Uh, come on, maybe you can focus. Yeah, see, screw it. Well, this is gonna go around the coil. It's gonna move it with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick it in, and then you're gonna count how many wraps you want. And usually the RTA, RTA, you know, you can do between four and up. But like I said, this dick is so big, you can only build so big. Okay, so I'm gonna do five wraps. This is an example, okay? So here we go. You're gonna watch the little thread move. I'm holding this piece down here as it goes up, okay? So here we go. I'll pull a little bit. Here we go. So we got one, two, three, four, five, okay? Give it a little more half turn there. And here's your coil, okay? This is your coil right here, baby. See that YouTubes? I'm trying to get the camera to focus. Okay, so that's your coil. Five wraps right there. Now that, that's for that's how fast you can do it with this tool. Okay. And for this is a three millimeter flathead from that kit I was showing you about. You can do it on this. But the thing is that see how this one here is not spaced out. If I get the damn thing to focus again. Come on, camera. Don't be an ass. Jesus, come on. Uh, it takes time to autofocus, come on. Jesus. Ah, I'll show it to you after I do the other one. Screw it. Try to get it going. Okay, so what you do is you hold, you place parallel with one end. Okay, like so. Okay. And this side here, you bend it like an L shape toward away from me, but on the the flathead itself, and I'll start wrapping it. You go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, whoa, I'm gonna flick forward. Grab this. I'm gonna pour it toward me. Okay. Now, here's the thing you see how it's spaced out? That's one of the cons about it, but you can just push it toward this way. That way, it can be, you know, together. Okay. Your, your ohms will drop more lower if they're together, touching together. Okay. So, it's gonna spring out. Okay, so yeah, if you don't have a tool, you can use that tool to improvise, okay? 
So you, if you look, if I get the damn camera to focus, come on, don't be like that. Focus, focus. There you go. See the one right here on the right. You see how it's spaced out? The one on the left, it's not spaced out. You see it? So that's one of the beneficial of the, having that tool with the Core Master Jig. Okay. So, anyways, don't worry about it. We can get it fixed. You know, um, as you put it in the deck and you put it in, you know, we can pinch it and it will stay together. No problem. Okay. So, no worry there. Okay. So what we do? I don't have any support right here. So now I have to take this tank, bottom part out, and use that bottom part so I can have support while I'm trying to put the coils in, okay? So, here's your deck. Here's, here's the bottom piece. Screw it in. Most RDAs have them already in there. Some are molded on there and some are just thread like this. You know, so it is it is what it is. Come on, I don't want to strip it. Come on, there we go. All right, okay, so that's what it is. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this old meter here, okay? This old meter here. We're gonna screw this sucker on. Okay, and it's gonna sit like that, straight up. That way I have something to work on. See? Yeah, just pull away. Now, so this one here, you use uh, Phillips heads. So now, I'm gonna do is, what you can do is when you take the coil, uh, when you take the screws out, not the coil, I said I fucked up. Um, you screw them, but not all the way out. Cause you don't want the screws to fall out because you're gonna screw them back in so screw enough to where you can see the hole clearly wide open and leave it at that and when you put your coils in you tie them down so we're going to unscrew these right here so it can be prepped and ready to go Okay, I'm gonna wide open.